Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the Leco August Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, today's contest, patching away, whatever you need to do. Uh, yeah, I usually stop these live, so feel free to fast forward or just, you know, watch it on the fastest speed. Okay, so given it sorted away, nums in an integer n add patch numbers such that any number in the range can be formed by some sum of the num elements away huh okay uh, we add two to the thing you get six okay that seems reasonable i feel like this is this is definitely like an ad hoc problem in which we have to try to figure out how to fit it in mm. I mean, I've, I think the interesting thing, maybe, of okay, the 10 to the 4th, uh, a thousand numbers, is that, is that at worst, I mean, there are a lot of things to think about for this one, but I think, uh, uh I think there is a thing where, you know, at worst you can choose, um, you can choose powers of twos, right? So that's go that's going to be like a, a case, but I don't know what else is there. Okay, so for example, I think there is a greedy for this problem as well, and knowing that this is sorting. I think, for example, we look at this this series, right? Well, what does this mean? This means that we're able to get to sum of one, but then we can't do two. Uh, wait, what is the target? Target is 20. So target is 20. Let's call this target. N is such a weird thing to do. Uh, N is equal to length of nums. But yeah, let's say target is 20, then we have one, then no two is no good. So then we put in two. Uh, why do we put in two? We put in two. Do we need the number or the number? Okay. We put in two because... because we know that we already fit one and if we add one it doesn't help us anything i mean it gets us two but it doesn't help us anything so we always put two because two is the next number that by itself can give us something right so we add two and what does two give it us two gives us all the numbers up to the previous sum which is one so this gives us up to three and three we, we already covered so then now we're four four we're not covered and again because we have one two so then we just add in four right so we add four and that means that everything is covered to five and five is covered two in the next one so that means it's going to be covered to six or let's just say five but then when we see five that means that we're covered to two hmm what are we covered to actually i don't know it's it's not just six right because that means that this means that every number previous to this um Actually, I said five for some reason, but actually, this should be seven, right? Because th this was covered to three, but four is missing. So that means that if we add four, we cover everything to seven, right? And then now seven, uh, uh, well, and then now we'd add five. So five is going to cover everything to 12. And then... Is that right? This part's a little bit sketch. Yeah, basically you can make everything from 7 to 12 um, and because you add in the 5, right? And then here, notice that this is already overlapping with 10. So 10 adds everything to 22. So you only have to do the 2 and the 4. Okay, I think I got the general idea and the pattern. Mm, is it precise enough for uh is it precise enough to program i don't know but uh okay so then now okay i think i got this though so let's just say total is equal to zero or like this is the total that we can do. I think the greedy part is knowing that the sum of all the smaller components or sub... Um, the, the invariant is that for every number that you add, 
that number plus all the previous sum or the max of the previous sum, which is all the previous numbers sum. Um, yeah, that means that, for example, adding the four here means that you get the four and every, and you know that by definition that every number from one, two, and three is in here. So that's why it's seven. And here you, you go, you add the five, and because 5 is less than 7, you know that every number from 1 to 7, again, by definition, is in there. So then when you add 5, you can add 5 to every number from 1 to 7. So that means that it goes from 6 to 12. But of course, you don't have to add the 5. So it goes to 1 to 12, which is how we get here. And now we get 10 for that reason. Okay. I think now I think I understand it. And I think now I, I hope that I articulate that in a, in a reasonable way. Um, okay, so let's get started. Let's just say this is the max, right? Max is equal to zero so far, and then for x is in nums, and it's already sorted for us. If x is greater than max, so the only, okay, so what happens when x is greater than max? When x is greater than max, then we just add x, right? Wait, is it, is this the one? No, 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 uh... No, 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 if x is greater than max, so while x is greater than max, then we do what we said, which is that we add the next number that is bigger than the max, right? So that means that max is equal to plus one, something like this. Um, and then we also have a count, say. So then here we added a number, so we add increment by one. Um, and then now, in here, now we know that x is less than equal to there. This is the condition. So then now we want to add that as well to the range. Yeah, except if we don't get the canvas one. And then that's pretty much it, maybe? Am I right? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we have to wait until the target. So yeah, so here, while target is greater than mx, we do this mx thing, yeah, okay. But um, I would say also, okay, yeah. If MX is greater or greater than target, then we can return count early. That's what I was, uh, okay. Yeah, I think, um, I feel like this is okay. Is it actually okay? We'll see. Maybe I'm off by one or two or 10. <laughs> uh, as you can see that I'm already, uh, I, got the wrong answer for the first one so let's we'll see what happens there or what's happening there let's see let's at least push another thing man i am sleepy hmm this is weird but okay <clears throat> we can point out every time we add right so yeah we add so we add two uh we add a six uh hmm so well x is so that means that this is x and negative right so we added this this is six hmm am i doing this wrong so one is so the next number is one okay i see i'm off by one on this because for example this is if mx is zero and this is one what adding this number actually covers it but here we this is strictly that right so i think we want something like this because then now we add we add, we add x anyway so that's why we get it for free okay and that's why sometimes you print these things so you add the four and your gucci right hmm oh because i i was that doesn't make sense that's why i, I was like that doesn't make sense but it was supposed to work before because this is already modified so you add the two, okay, that's good. Here you add the two and the four, that's good. And here you add zero, okay. Let's play around for one more number maybe. And then just like a really big target, was it? Oh, maybe I print out too much maybe, but it should be okay. This should, cause th this, um, this thing basically doubles, right? Uh, or more than double so that means that this would print at least like log n time so that i think we're okay here so 26 actually then why didn't we print hmm i guess it's all here um okay 
So I feel like this is okay. So let's give it a submit. Get rid of the print statement first. And then give us, uh, ooh, wait, let me just see. Some boundaries. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like we're okay. Let's give it a submit. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, was a little bit lazy. For this one, this is something that I urge people to do in general, right? Is that try to come up with a smaller case for which it, it uh, works. Or it doesn't work, I guess, in this case. Um, and this one should be it. Oh no, huh. So then why do I add extra ones for this? Oh, because I go through the array no matter what. Huh. So if MX is greater than or equal to target. So why is that wrong? Or why does that... Oh, I see. Because this keeps on going for X. Well, I need to add a count here. So, okay. Wow. I mean, okay. That's a, that's a silly mistake. But one that I... I guess I thought about it, but I didn't. I was trying to be lazy, and I, because I want, you know, sometimes you try to do things very clean, and this just feels yucky. But but if it's right, if it's yucky and it's right, it's still right. <laughs> uh, versus having a a beautiful wrong answer is useless. Uh, okay, well maybe except for learning, I guess. But you know, like in general. Okay, yeah. So that's good. <laughs> uh, accept it. Uh, whoops. But yeah, so what is the complexity? As I said, if you look at this loop, this this loop basically doubles, and this is this just uh, is a is a su uh, sum. So at worst, we're gonna uh, at worst this loops l log of target time. So that that doesn't loop that much because because it's gonna be like thirty one or whatever for fixed thirty two bit int. Uh, this is also linear uh, in the worst case because of the whatever. So uh, because it just goes further away. So I'm I'm really tired for some reason. So I'm getting lazy, and I apologize for that. But yeah, a uh, log of t where t is the target. So this is the complexity. Um, yeah, and you could say the same thing here. This is just log of t, right? Because this literally is doubling every time. So yeah, uh, in terms of space, this is just all one for obvious reasons of we only have constants, right? So yeah. Uh, or not constants, but like constant uh, uh, sized variables. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm really tired, my bad. Uh, so hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Hope y'all have a great rest of the month. I will see you tomorrow and good solving and to good mental health. Bye bye.